Hello friends, welcome back to Sequel with Manoj. Today I'll talk about uh, the having clause. In my previous video, I talked about the group by clause and we'll see how we can extend that group by clause and use the having clause with it. Okay, so let's see what exactly is a having clause first of all. So the having clause works as a filter on top of grouped rows written by the group by clause. So it says that once you have a group by clause in a SQL query, you can apply the having clause to filter it more. This clause cannot be replaced by a where clause and vice versa, right? So both of the having clause and where clause filter the data, but you have to understand at what level and how they filter the data, right? So as you can see here in this uh, below select query, so it is select the star from table where filter condition, right? So the where clause acts here after the select from statement it filters the data from the table and then we can apply a group by clause to do the grouping and at the end we can apply the having clause right so this having clause do a filter on the grouped rows but not on the individual rows where clause is used to filter data from the individual rows but the having clause filter the data on the grouped rows right the group that we'll get from here right so so i'll show you this uh, in our example today and let's go to SSMS to check the examples. Okay. So the table is same that we saw in our group by clause example. Okay. And here we'll be using the same table for discussing the having clause. Okay. And now what I'll do is I'll uh, first of all show you how we work with the group by clause. So let's say I want the salary department wise. So department name, comma, the sum of salary and group by department name so this will give you the salary according to the departments right but let's order it order by sum of salary descending right now let's say you want to see the salary that is more than uh, 50,000 K, right? So how you can do that? It's very simple. You can, you have to just apply a having clause, having sum of salary is greater than 50 K. Okay. So let's see. So I have to put this before the order by otherwise it will give uh, error so let me copy this separately and remove this having so uh, in our first example we didn't had the having clause so having clause give us all the results okay irrespective of the sum of these now here what our condition what our requirement is I just want to see the see the departments that are having a budget of salary more than 50,000 right so um, if I have this table by looking at this table and each and every department it's very difficult to know right which department has a budget of more than 50,000 right I don't know right by looking at these right I have to do the sum then I have to you know uh, check for each and every department right so how can I do the sum I have done the sum like this now I can easily make out right these all departments are here so how I can filter these right so to filter these you can use the having clause okay let me remove the order by clause uh, to avoid confusion so it is select the department names and sum of salary from employee table and group by department name i just have added the having some salary that is greater than 50000 and if i execute it you will get only few rows right so these are only the departments that have a budget of more than 50k so it's very easy right so let's say if i want to have a where clause instead of this having let's see what happens right so where clause also filters the records right so but let's say right so this says that incorrect syntax near keyword where because this as I already told you before you know this where clause applies filter on the individual rows but we have already the grouping of these departments we have already the grouping of all these rows by department name and you know we have got the individual departments and their sum of salary now to to apply the filter on these groups individual groups I cannot apply the where clause because it will act at the row level right so to apply the filter at the group level I have to apply the having clause right so here it goes it's pretty simple right 
now let's uh, take some other example so I can um, use the having clause also just like a where clause let's say I just want to see the department name equal to engineering how can I do that so here rather than having of sum what I'll do is department name is equal to engineering so what it'll do is it will only give me records of engineering right like this so how we did that so let let us see for engineering only engineering is 43632 okay and uh, when I have this department name is equal to engineering it gave me only one record so again you know it worked at the grouping level right not at the row level so it gave me only one department that was at the engineering level right so this can also be done by like this you can have a where clause here even if, if you want to have a you know filtration at the column level you can make it like this both of these statements will give you the same results now what is the difference the difference is upon the query execution pattern right so this pattern is different and this pattern is different so how this is different first of all it will only get the records from the employee table where the department is engineering right and there may be very few records uh, let's do a select star here so there are only seven records here okay after getting only seven records from this table it will do a group by right it will only group the seven records and get the sum of those seven uh, records and it will give you engineering and this summation of salary but this is a bit opposite right first of all you here you are getting all the records from employee table you are grouping all the records right you are grouping all the records then at the end you are filtering so by doing this you won't get a good performance right because uh, as I told you all the records are processed at the end they are filtered if you want for a particular you know column not for the aggregate and the similar way you can do with a where clause rather than you know using a having clause right like this first of all filter the records get only seven records and then do a group by right okay now let's say there is uh, one more scenario where you know we can uh, use both of having and uh, the where clause right so let's check the table and its contents so let's say the scenario is right so here we saw uh, this particular scenario right uh, let me just do an order by also order by sum salary so here we saw the budget of these particular departments where the budget of salary is more than 50,000 right now let's say I want to uh, get only the budget for female employees or male employees how can I do that so I can uh, have a where clause over here where clause right where where gender is equal to male let's say I just want for male right so this is the way I can do I can use a where clause and I can use a having clause together right so this is the way you will get right so here you got only two records where for males you have this particular budget right and similarly for females let's say if you want to see the budget where the budget is more than 50k you can just change it to female and you will get the male and female both budget right like this production and if I combine this let's say I combine uh, all these three okay and I'll remove the this one and if I run both all these three uh, you can see here uh, on all these three records set the production is unique it's same right so here if you see if you club both of these if you club both of these records it will be equal to this right because both of them are more than 50,000 this is for female and this is for male and the same thing is here this record set is more for more than 50,000 and the this department is both for male and female so if you add both of these this will be equal to this right so this is how you work with the having clause and this is how it differs by the group by clause and the where clause okay so you have to use it very uh, cautiously and and we saw right uh, uh, how much flexibility it gives and and how much it helps us in generating the analytics and how it helps us in filtering the aggregates right so this is it for today in my next videos I'll be talking about more basic stuff in SQL server and please stay tuned please subscribe 
थैंक यू वेरी मच एंड हैव अ नाइस डे थैंक्स